Good morning, how's it going? It's Peter. I wanted to give you a little update. It's been about three weeks since I posted my last video. I was hoping to get a few more out there, but I'm busy and time's just disappeared. In that time, I've recorded two podcasts and I've edited both of them. I wanted to talk to you about the setup of how I did it and how I made it easier for myself. I'm not saying easy because I didn't realize that actually editing a podcast is a lot of work. I used to do a lot of audio engineering and I kind of forgot how long-winded it is. So I'm just going to talk you through a bit. For recording the podcasts, I'm just going to load up Zoom. This is what I used. Now, if you go in the settings and you go to recording, the biggest tip I can give is to record a separate audio file for each participant who speaks. Now, if you're not technical, what this means is when you're recording your podcast with your guest, Zoom will split the speakers into two different files. So it will record a file for me and it will record one for the speaker. If you don't do this, Zoom will consolidate both speakers into one audio track. So if anyone does a cough or they sneeze or they laugh in the wrong place or something like that, you can go through and you can delete it just so it doesn't sound out of place. If you don't, it's going to be very hard for editing purposes. So once you've got this checked, I also optimize it for third party video editor. And if you look at Zoom's specification, all this does is makes it into a nice workable audio track instead of Zoom's format. So it's important to check that. And you can add timestamps to the recording if you want to, but I left that checked off. So what happens is when you record your podcast, it starts both audio tracks on zero and they will both finish the same time. So even though the speakers are speaking in different locations and different times, Zoom will just have the start and the beginning and they'll both match. So when you load it into your audio editor, everything is easy to edit. Talking of audio editing, I use Descript and I didn't realize how much effort is gonna be. <laughs> I just thought, oh, it'll be easy. Um, I used to edit audio going back years ago, but I forgot how long it takes. As you can see here, we have got a 40, 50 minute conversation. And this was pretty good to be fair. There wasn't much editing. I've spoken with Chris before, it was easy. We had a good rapport and there was a lot of decent information. The bits that take a long time to change is the us and ums and uh, Descript will tell you that you can delete them all, but I found removing them sometimes made it feel a little bit unnatural. It's like editing the way someone speaks, and just because they do say mm, it's not because they don't know what to say, it's just how they speak naturally, and I didn't want to change that too much. There was a few long pauses that I had to chop out, but that's normal. Um, you know, like when you can just see when I'm thinking there, um, it's not because I don't know what to say, it's just... You know, I'm a bit slow speaking sometimes and um, that's the way I speak. And if someone was to change that and manipulate it, I don't think it would be as natural as it possibly could. If anything does go completely wrong, I think occasionally me and Chris spoke over each other by accident. And if you go to the speech and you do edit sequence, you can see both audio tracks here. So you can see me and when I was talking and then you can see Chris when he was talking and then back to me. So if Chris did talk over me or if I spoke over Chris, these tracks here, the purple and the orange would be aligned and it'd be over the top. And all you have to do is select the part you want to remove and you press delete. But obviously I need that audio, so I'm not going to delete it now. So that's how I've been editing and it's worked out really well. If I just go back to here. So once it's finished, I need to go to share and I need to go to export. And how I'm gonna do it is by exporting the audio. There are exports to some podcast tools on here. I had the plan of using Anchor FM and I exported my first podcast, which was an hour and 20 minutes, but Anchor have got file size limit. So unless I compress the audio into some crap bit rate, which is gonna sound terrible and we've lost our decent recording quality, 
I'm now going to have to find an alternative, which is fine. It just means that I've got to do a little bit more research. I thought Anchor would be nice and easy. It's owned by Spotify. Well, it was bought by Spotify. I can upload it and publish straight away. But no, no I now need to go and have a look at some other tools. Um, I've got some on my radar. I'll just see how it goes. So I need to record a couple more shows. That's my plan. And the reason for that is I've got these two ready to go. If I publish them before I know it, another three weeks has slipped on by and the audience I had built up would have dropped off and disappeared and gone back to another podcast. So I need to hit a brand new audience consistently for a good couple of weeks. So I need to podcast this week, next week, week after, week after, week after. And in that time of when these podcasts are being published, it gives me time to book another load of guests, record another batch, and then schedule them for publish. So I always want to be ahead of myself. I don't want to be playing chase with myself by trying to get my podcasts published week after week. Um, it's not how I want to live. I want to do this to build up an audience, not for me to be scraping at all hours trying to get the next one out. So I want to record like a batch of five and then I will publish a batch of five and then I'll record another batch of five or I suppose it being published and then so on. That's my plan. The bits I didn't anticipate is booking guests. I should have had five done by now, but I've had to rearrange three people. I should have one for this morning, but he had to rearrange unfortunately. So we're gonna put that for next week. Some people weren't available this week and they said, oh, hit me back in August. So I've now got to think, well, who am I going to have in between that? So I didn't anticipate how long it takes to book all of this. I think this is where I'm going to have to start offloading to my virtual assistant because booking guests takes a long time and it takes a lot of email chasing, a lot of organizing, sending the calendly links and making sure they're booked on, making sure they know where to turn up because someone tried phoning me on Facebook Messenger when I booked over Zoom. All these little things I didn't think about. So it's a bit of teething from my part and a bit of learning for me of how to manage it because I'm not the most organized person in the world and running a podcast <laughs> takes some organizing. Um, so maybe I'm not the best person to organize myself and maybe a virtual assistant who is good and organized could do this part for me. I always say, I want to book these guests, please. I'll give them access to my calendar and then they can manage it. They can reach out to them, offer them a podcast invite, book it, tell me when I need to turn up. Hopefully my calendars will be synced so it makes it easy for Calendly and then book it from there. So yeah, I'll leave this video here for now. I'm going to record another podcast later. I've got someone booked in, which is cool. So that's free. I think I'm going to get on and publish these uh, before I know it. Christmas will be here. <laughs> you know, another half a year's disappeared and I'm still trying to record some. So we'll see how it goes. Any questions or anything like that, just drop them in the comments on YouTube or on the post, which you see. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me build momentum for what I'm doing. If I can teach people along the way, then, you know, I've solved a big problem for someone and more than happy to do so. So yeah, subscribe along. Let me know what you want to see. If there's anything specific, just drop me a message. Cool. Uh, leave it as there. See you later.